That's why I thought it was in the church. He has the catch. I didn't know what church it was, but it was my church. Pastor Glover was there. I can't recall seeing bishops this time. No, usually I have when I have a dream, I see bishop or the focus be on bishop. And I don't see Pastor Glover, but this time it was Pastor Glover. And I only saw her in a glimpse, like a glimpse. But let me get to the dream. I see myself walking, and I want to say this. The reason why I'm videoing this as well is because I want to come back to this dream when I get ready to find that skirt. I had a dream that I had a skirt on. The skirt was so nice. It was like flary, nice and long. The color was like black lavender. It was like chiffon silk. The blouse now was real, real strange, but it was nice. And it was like a chop, but Oh, I forgot. Oh, excuse me. No, I need to go back to sleep. Right? It was like, let me see, can I explain it? Okay. It came on the half sleeves, right? And it, um, it, um, came to my waist. Waist. So, it was chopped, but it was chopped to my waist. And this, and it was like, the skirt was high-waisted. But, it didn't show nothing. And it was like a shiny material like this. But it was white. Like a white, shiny, silky material, right? And, um, I see myself with it on, right? But here's a strange thing. Keisha came and nailed down in front of me. And she was touching the sides of my skirt. But she was like kneeling in front of me, right? And she was like, I like your skirt. This is real nice. And I was looking at her like, why are you on your knees? Right? And then I sat down and looked like I was doing my hair. It was nice, nice length. It came like to my, like to my shoulders. It wasn't long, but I was doing it in the church and I was braiding it. And Missionary Macmillan, I'm seeing all these people. Missionary Macmillan came over to me and said, um, no, she didn't come to me. She was like a few rows away from me. I should say, um, oh my goodness, your hair is so nice. I'm trying to get mine to grow, right? And, um, I didn't say nothing, I just took that out. And I was combing it out, and she was just looking at me, right? Then, now the dream switches. My attention goes back to Keisha, I don't know. Keisha sit next to me in this row. And I said to Keisha, this is what kid, this is what got me as well. I said, um, how's Pastor Lee? She went like this, she went. I said, oh my goodness. So I don't know, maybe he's not doing well. It's maybe that man is up to the Lord. I don't know, but in the dream, I was kind of confused, but I didn't feel anything like he was dying or nothing. What I, I'ma say what I said in the dream. Well, I'ma say what I felt in the dream. In the dream, when she did that, I was like, wow. That's how she feel about her husband. I don't know, it wasn't like, I took it, now that I'm talking about it, I took it as 
it's up to the Lord. But in the dream, when I say how special, she just looked up to, to the sky like, he ain't doing too good. She ain't want to say too much. And my response was, oh my, oh my goodness. You know? I guess it was more so like, he's not dying. He's sick, but he's not dying. He'll be all right. But maybe she looked up to the ceiling saying, well, it's up to the Lord. I don't know. And then Mary came. It seemed like Mother Giles was in a dream. And she was saying, I saw her and I walked over to her. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Mother. And she was talking to me and everything. And I said, um, she said something about where's um, such and such, right? And I was like, who? And she said, something she said. And I said, who, Thomas? I said, Thomas is right there. She said, oh, okay. It looked like Thomas was back in the church looking like his old self. Right? He was looking all crazy looking. And then I saw Mary. And she looked like she was helping Mother Giles. But she looked like she was on trustee board, dealing with the account, dealing with the money and all that stuff, right? And she came a few seats ahead of me, and she was writing out something. Somebody went to sit on my glasses. She was like, yeah, I know I need these glasses, right? And she was wearing glasses, like, but she looked, everybody looked like we look now. I look like I do look now, meaning that I wasn't older. It wasn't no younger dream. It wasn't no future dream. It was like, it was right there. Like, it's what's going on, it's going to be. So we probably is going to get back in church, but maybe we're going to be fellowshipping with another church. Maybe we're going to be fellowshipping. And it looked a little, the church looked at like Zion. It looked at like Zion. Like we was down south in Zion Church. But anyway, mother, this is the last part of the dream. And this is when... My phone rang and wake me up, woke me up. So, the, it looked like, but yeah. And, 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 um, Mary was talking, but not really talking. String right here, see that pink string. So anyway, so Renee, I'm going to say Renee, whoa, that's my cousin. So, um, Mary, she was walking out, right? And then and only then is when I saw Pastor Glover. And Pastor Glover says, um, oh my God. Pastor Glover says, um, says something to her. And she must have said something about a cigarette. Because she said, yeah, I'm about to go get... It sounded like she said, I'm about to go get my cigarette from her. And Pat the Governor went, huh! And I was back there saying, maybe ain't got no shame in her game. She's, so apparently she wasn't saying, talking about some cigarette. And I don't know whether she said cigarette, but whatever it was, it wasn't correct. I washed my hair. Gotta fix my edges, it's pulling. So then, after that happened, after that part, I hear the phone ringing. And I wake up. So, that was my dream, but I just couldn't get over Keisha's look. It was like three aspects of the dream, they said, that was very. Outspoken, that was very vivid. And they said, when you have a dream, pay attention to what stands out in the dream. So it was three things that stood out Keisha, my clothes, and I still got, I wish I could take a picture of my brain. That skirt was nice. 
You see what I'm saying? That blouse was nice. I'm going to look for blouses. That's why I say the Lord teaches, teaches me how to dress. And he going to have to take me to, I don't know what it's to get that suit, to get that made, or to buy it. But Lord, you know, you have to take, you have to do the same thing like you do with the robe. I had a dream, kind of like going off the subject, but still on the subject, going off the dream, but on the subject. I had a dream that um, I was preaching, and in the dream, I saw my robe. I saw the robe I had on. And when I woke up, I said, Lord, I said, what is this? Why am I dreaming of myself preaching? I said, oh, no, why am I preaching? And in the dream, I was preaching to a lot of people. I had this robe on, and it was, I was just going, right? The first segment of my preaching, I was preaching to a lot of people. People was like cheering me. Yes, preach, amen. And then I started walking, right? I started walking. And it looked like I was walking from one church, from one, one segment and going to another. And when I walked that way, I went into another church preaching the same message. I didn't stop preaching. I kept right on preaching. But when I walked into that church, in that segment of the dream, Bishop was sitting there. And when I walked in, he was sitting down like he was doing something. When I walked in, he jumped right up and he started saying, Amen. Preach. He had on his white suit. I'll never forget that. He had on his white suit. And his white suit and, um, his purple bishop shirt. I call it the bishop shirt because that's the only time I see him wearing it. Bishop shirt. So, the robe that was getting to the robe, the robe that was in the dream, when I woke up, I said, Lord, what is this? I said, well, why am I dreaming of a white Christmas now? <laughs> why am I dreaming? of myself preaching with this robe. I said, well, Lord, if you want me to wear this robe, you want me to have this robe, you are going to have to show me where to get this robe from. Take me to get it made. Sure enough, one day, I went outside for a totally different thing. I was told to go outside I was being sent to a real estate that I ain't see today. I ain't find that real estate yet. But you know what I found? I found the person who made my role. The Lord had me walking. That was so out. <laughs> she beat me up. Can you not slap me, please? Can you not beat me up? You just slap me in my face side of my head. Sorry. Okay, it's no problem. Going back to sleep. It's okay. I'm alright. So, um... Excuse me. So... I went walking. Going there fine. Oh, wait, let me finish that. I went walking, going to find it. Oh, I got to throw this in there. Then Samson was in a dream. Let me think. He was, I don't know where Sister Kathy, it wasn't that type of dream where he was married. And it wasn't even that type of dream where I was married, because in the dream, there was some feelings transpiring between us. Uh, and don't don't even get this wrong. He married. Don't even take this in wrong with it. This is a dream. And I know they say dreams do come true. But in the dream, we was nowhere thinking about nothing. Me and him was talking. And I don't mean like talking like that. He rapping to me or something. It was something he had to do. He was doing something. And I was giving him my opinion. But it was like my the whole thing 
of that, of me and him, we were so, um, like, talking to one another, like, he was, how can I explain it? Because y'all crazy people would probably take it like, yeah, he was trying to talk to him, and he was trying to talk. No, it wasn't that. It was more so, if y'all knew our, if y'all knew our relationship now, then you'll understand what I'm saying. Our relationship now, let me see if I can break it down. Our relationship now is nothing, right? Our spiritual relationship is nothing. Whatever he gonna do, he gonna do. He's over the, he's the president of the youth department and I'm the vice president, right? But he don't consult me into nothing, with nothing. Like the youth exposure is coming up now. I, I've totally forgot that I was supposed to consult him, but in all, I'll hit him up. I'll hit him up today. I hit his daughter up to hit him up because he don't really answer me. That's my point. He don't say nothing. He don't have nothing planned. He don't want to do nothing. And so, yeah, I better hit him up because I don't want nobody to think I'm going over him. So in the dream, it was different. That was the opposite. He was talking to me. He was having a conversation with me. It was like we was besties. Let me put it that way. It was like we was besties. You know, I don't know whether he was getting a message together to preach. But we was just like buddy buddies. So that's my point. So, you know, so back to the road. So sure enough, I went out there one day looking for a real estate. I was sent out there down Fulton Street. Go down Fulton Street, not far from Albany. Tompkins and Troop, and you will see a real estate child to this day. I ain't find it yet, but I just took it as once I found a man that was going to, and you see him? <laughs> once I found a man that was going to do my robe, once I found the plates, I walked in there. I'm walking, walking, walking. I say, Lord, I got to know strength. I say, Lord, where am I supposed to be going now? I don't know where I'm going. He said, turn left. So I turned left. And I walked and walked and walked and walked until I did see a real estate. I said, oh, so Lord, you have me walk all the way down here. Because this is a real estate that you're going to help me find a place. I'm going to go up in here. And this person is going to tell me, yes, we got four bedrooms for you. And it's in Brooklyn. And it's that I'm going to go see it. And I'm going to love it. And I'm going to be like, praising God, running through the church. Because I found my Brooklyn apartment. No. When I went in there, they was like, you can fill out this application. And when something comes, we'll call you. I walks out the real estate. I stand there. I say, Lord, now, why did I come here? What was the purpose that you brought me here? Because that real estate ain't doing nothing for me. I'm more depressed again. And I'm like, I'm going to stay in this shelter longer. Yes, I was in shelter. And um, when I looked up like this, I'm sad. I'm looking down. I'm like, all right, I don't know which way to go now. I said, well, I guess I go on back home, Lord. I ain't getting nothing in my spirit for me to go nowhere else. And it was like you said, look up. And when I looked up and I looked across the street, there was the store. The seamstress. seamstress. I said, ooh, okay, Lord. This is what, I said, let me go in there and see if you can make my robe. I walked in there and I told the man the dream I had. He said, um, do you got a picture? I said, ma'am. I said, sir, it was a dream. He said, oh, okay, okay. He went and got the paper. He said, you remember it? I said, yes, I do. He said, all right. He said, tell me it and I'm going to sketch it. Let me tell you something. That man sketched that dream just like I sketched that picture of the road, just like I dreamt it. He made it. And then I told him that there was, the, the wings was like, angel wings like that and um he made my robe just like that 
they has it got a slit in it. And when I hold my hand up, it, it looks like an angel. Look like the wings of an angel. And I told him about the color that was in there. And he went in the book and he started going through the different fabrics. He had the fabric. Well, you know what? The man didn't even have the fabric in the store. As I knew. I said, oh, okay. He had the fabric. I mean, he didn't have the fabric. He went in the book. And he gave me the book and he, he started going through different pages of the different colors that I may be looking for the, pa the pattern because I told him I said it's green I said it's green so he went he bought me the book and he started going through the different thing he knew his stuff I ain't gonna lie that man knew his stuff and he showed me the different things and I kept saying no no that's not it that's not it Finally, he came across one that looked at just, that was just the one that, I said, there are those. He said, what kind of pattern? I said, that, that, that was it. That was it right there. He said, okay, I got you. I got you. He said, I'm going to do it. And he made my robe. And when I saw the robe, I had to go and try it on because he measured me and everything. And it was superb so anyway back to the dress number that so that is all for that dream and my god she is sleeping <laughs> all right so i will get off this thing i'm supposed to be getting a package that's why i'm up i ain't getting nothing and i went on the website for this website they talking about schedule pending I'm like, you know what? I'm sick of y'all. Y'all always doing this to my Apple products. Why y'all can't just give me my products? Why you want to be holding it? So that is it. Pray God all is well. I ain't even going to check up on my hair. Bought me some hair and they take it forever. But I guess not. Let me see. When did I order? I think I ordered the 30th. No, I ordered the 26th. 26, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30, 30 days at September, April, June, and November. Oh, Lord, it's okay. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 1, 2, 3, days of 30, right? 4, 5, that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 days, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, nine days. But I paid for overnight shipping. So when they do ship it, I'm going to get it the next day. It's the processing. I'm being patient because I know how hair is. I know you got to get the right hair. And I was doing looking at some videos. So I got to go because I, gotta, I, I came to my phone first. Because I had gotten a call. You know, and since I was... Oh, since I had this dream about Keisha, I was like, let me go on Facebook and see if Kayla said anything. But the only thing I saw that she said, uh, apart from my, this minor stuff, was that um, she just got something from Apple. That she loved you. She said, I love, I love y'all all, all. So I wrote on her. I, I comment and told her, I love you too, girl, and praying for you. So, Lord, give us strength, whatever it is. And I'm going to go, and I will talk to y'all later, because I got to go to my prayer and read my scripture, because I'm trying to train myself to instead of picking up the phone when I wake up, I pick up the Bible. So, I'm on the phone now. Because I got a call. And I thought that it was. Because sometimes I get the. I get, not sometimes. I get the deliveries for these foods. For food. So. I um. 
thought that was the man calling. He always call and tell me he outside. This is it's time for delivery because I got a delivery Sunday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I didn't get it Wednesdays. Oh, yeah, I did get it every night. Well, I told him out. That's the one that the money woke me up and said, Grandma, Nana, somebody knocking. You got a package at the door. So when I went there, it was left in front of the door. But anyway, I just thought it was somebody important, and it woke me up. So I know that I was supposed to be getting a package at 1030. It said by 1030 at 1030 a.m. So I didn't really want to go into prayer. Look at me, I'm trying to explain myself to you guys. But anyway, I didn't want to go into prayer and get interrupted by the bell. So, since they said they're going to be scheduled and they don't know when the, something happened. So I'm going to go to my prayer, to my prayer and read my scripture. Maybe I'll take myself to read my scripture. All right, you have a blessed day. God bless you. This is... May, May, you hear me? This is June the 4th, 2020. We're still in the coronavirus pandemic. And this is Thursday morning. God bless you. Bye.